three, two, one. What the hell? Clap. Do it again. Th Do it again. Three, three, two, one. That's not. What the fuck, man? One <laughs> on on one. Directly on one. Okay. Yeah, on on one. Okay. Uh, Do it again. Th three, two, one. Three. We'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey there, chatty kids, and welcome to the Chatter Cafe, the podcast about life stuff and Pokemon stuff, and, well, don't worry, we got it all ironed out. You'll just have to trust us. Welcome to episode number 15 of Chatter Cafe. I am that person who does the recording. And that other person over there is the other person that does the recording. Hi. How Hi. are you doing? That I'm, person that other does the recording. I'm great. I'm tired. I'm hyped, but I'm tired. Uh, and but hyped. Did you go to bed? For like a little bit, yeah, but I was like still like awake like you know like when you're like in bed but you're not like asleep yes you're, like kind of asleep that was me that that's me every night oh all right how, uh, how, what how are you I, i'm okay i mean I, I went to school today and i woke up at five o'clock uh, because yeah uh i woke up late i guess but Reasons? i went to bed at like I went to bed at 7 that night before. Oh, okay. How are you? I don't uh, have school on Tuesdays, so... That's right. I know. was basically just chilling at home. Um, Did you ever, like, go back to sleep at, like, past 5? Like, after 5? No, I just stayed up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I tried to, but then I just started scrolling through Twitter looking at what yeah. everybody was saying. Yeah, exactly. Suddenly it was 8 o'clock. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, right. How has your life been? Any updates? Any life updates? Topic one. My life <laughs> updates? Um. E e e um. I think we should talk about how we we haven't been here. We haven't had anything really. Yeah. Going on here. Sure, how part? long has it been, actually? I should have that open. I don't know. What was the last upload? I think it was your vlog. Yeah, I did a vlog for, um... For, um... Regionals. And I also did another vlog <laughs> for last year's Regionals since then. Yeah, you did. The, I think that was uh, the video before that. <laughs> um, yeah, SoCal Regionals. That was the Lancaster one. And then Competitive Bio on Greninja. And then, uh, and then SoCal Regionals. Uh, Anaheim Regionals, rather. And, um... Last Chatter Cafe, I'm looking it up, episode 13? Four, 14. Oh, no, hang on, I'm looking at verses. Um, yeah, the Last Chatter Cafe, 14, was February of last year. Good job, us. So, <laughs> it's been more than a year and a half. Um... Yeah. You wanna you wanna explain maybe why? I mean, life. I, it, uh, I got a life. crazy intense job. Um, a little bit of life, a little bit of um, loss of passion, maybe. I don't know. I didn't really lose a passion, but um, I know you did. You got got like oversaturated a bit. But like, I mean, I kind of like like I mean, I I, I uploaded like three videos since, but like. I don't know, like, for me, like, I had a job that was, like, pushing me, like, 80 or more hours a week sometimes, so, like, I didn't, I wasn't, like, able to do anything. You were working, and you had school, and just so many things, 
Like, and now I might not even have school next semester, so that's a thing. Because of work? <laughs> no, no, well, because of work and because I can't anymore. Mm-hmm. I just don't have the, uh, how you say, um... Drive? The drive or the determination to do well. Okay. Like, I just don't give a fuck, basically. To do I well think. or to do something as pointless as school? I think a little bit of both. Like, um, I have, I've learned stuff, but I haven't really, like, necessarily, like, needed to learn any of that stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, I feel like I'm just there for no reason. It's like, I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting the time of people who drive me to school, and I'm wasting the time of somebody who could potentially have been in my spot for that class that actually needed that class. And money for the credits. And And money for everything, yeah. Yeah, I Uh, get you. So, I don't know, it's just like, I could be somewhere else right now, other Mm -hmm. than where I don't want to be. I get you, I get you. I completely get you, and that's kind of why I took, like, a year off of school myself when I was working. Um, Like, I didn't really know what the next step for my professional life was. Yeah. Or what the step, like, what my professional life was. Right. So, um, I took a year off to work in the gaming industry, and, uh, that was really enlightening for me. I learned a lot, realized what it's what I wanted to do, go into school, here I am three years later, credits into a major that I don't want to do anymore, basically starting from scratch. Um, mm. so, <laughs> I, I, I get you. <laughs> Um, yeah. We're, we're both 21 now. Yeah. Oh my god. Birthdays. Uh, I oh think one god. of the last times we recorded it was my birthday. I was 20. You tur. I was just 20? turning 20. Yeah. 20, not 21? No, it was just 20. Oh wow. No. That's a testament. Yeah, I was just turning 20 <laughs> when the last time I think it was either this show or one of the last verses, I had just turned 20. I remember when you did turn 21, we wanted to do something, we ended up not doing it, and you were texting we me do like... nothing. What? We did nothing. <laughs> yeah, and we, um, like, I think you were texting me, like, about, like, you were getting drunk with, like, family or Saul or something. Basically, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well... No, the time no. I got drunk with Saul, that was a completely different incident on, um, Valentine's, I think, that year, or oh. the year before. <laughs> That was a fun day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a different story for a different time. <laughs> for my birthday, we went to Little Tokyo and uh, we we did like karaoke. We like rented like a private room. That was sick. Mm-hmm. That was so sick. You were there, of course, but like. Yeah. It's oh just, my god. It was, was a lot great. of money. Yeah. Do you want to talk mean, about? Do you want to talk about like other life updates like Rita and stuff? Oh, sure. Um, I mean, yeah, if you haven't noticed in the past year that we've been going... Which, like, the only people of... the only people who listen to this are people who would have noticed anyways, probably. <laughs> but, like, um, go ahead. I still think you should talk about it. Yeah, uh, so... If you go back a bit in our video vlog, in our videos for this channel, <clears throat> um, you'll find that Hunter here, the other guy on the other side. Hi. Well, the guy on the other side. Hi. Um, calls me Marley in those videos. Um, and well, that was Marley. fun for a bit. Um, I, I decided to change it again to, uh, to Rita, because it's a bit more of a natural sounding name, I think. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I've had it for a while now, and then people... It feels good. I mean, it's... It fits. Mm-hmm. I think Rita and does it, fit you more. I think Rita just it, sounds better as a name, but also it fits you in particular more. Even just like just the sound of it, like with like even short, like your last name, like Rita Garcia, like it's a just a I don't know, like yeah, and it, more if natural. Viewers, if viewers didn't know, I am transgender. That's that's why I, I still sound like a guy, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Um, as as my friend, and just as like a decent human being, I see you as a woman, and I call you whatever you want to be called: Rita, Marley, uh, Andrew, 
Um, whenever it, the, the, uh... The time or place yeah, <laughs> or company. Certain people in our lives don't know, don't know this, and it's a bit difficult, and, uh... You came out to a lot of our friends, though, very recently, yeah, and yeah, I'm just very recently proud of you. Yeah, just came out to a lot of friends, and, uh, Very proud of you. One of them could have taken a little bit better, but, um... You know, mm -hmm. I guess that's just the way it's gonna be for the most part. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Just up next is the big old family, and that's probably not going to go over well, so... Your, um, your immediate family knows, at least. Immediate and family. That's... Well, yeah, my mom and my sister. Does your basically. grandpa know? No. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, but, but, um... But, yeah, that's... That's that whole thing that we had going on there. Yeah. Because I know that, uh... It came up at least once in one of the comments for other videos. Did it? Uh... I think so. I don't remember which video, but it was... It wasn't, like, mean or, like, offensive or anything. It was just, like, questioning, like, hmm. my my voice, basically. Hmm. I haven't really, like, been keeping up with all the comments, except for, like, all the ones on, like, all the tight matchups videos. Like, you're wrong! This! <laughs> and all those ones. But, um, which uh... granted, like, some of them were wrong, but whatever. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen. Yeah. But You're yeah, on the internet. False information uh, by accident and whatnot. Hopefully, within, like, I don't know, the next two years, I just want to not be in California anymore, or with family for that part, because of recently, um, things haven't been going too well for me here, and I just need to, like, get out, because... It's not... I'm starting to not feel safe here. Mm -hmm. So that's me. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's move on to Pokemon. Well, actually, first, I was just gonna say, uh, still, like, revolving around the channel. So, um... Uh, I just... It's seriously been, like, like a half a year since I ordered it, but the, um... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the 2DS capture card that I ordered back in, I think, like, November of 2015 um yeah uh Kitty just uh sent me like or like told me um that they're shipping the order today and uh they gave me like the tracking number and everything and um didn't you say um like before you you like you bought it and like you didn't know if it was gonna get sent to the right house because you were moving yeah no i uh I talked to, I spoke to, I forget, I forget his name, um, the owner, I guess, um, like, and he changed the address on it because I just wasn't expecting it to take so long, and, uh, I've moved since then, both my dad and my mom have both moved since then, my mom moved twice, <laughs> um, uh, so. For, for very good reason, I think. Yeah, for a bunch of reasons, and so like, um, it's being sent to to the place that I'm currently living in. I moved too, actually. I moved uh, to my dad's house, which is the first for me. Um, yeah, I just I'm checking the email right now. It actually the uh, the receiving information is actually uh, the place that I'm currently in. So place that I'm recording from too. Anyways. So yeah, 2DS. We're getting a 2DS uh, I mean, capture card. I mean, it's 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 a thing to record on, so it's good. it was way cheaper than the 3DS. <laughs> that's that's why I chose that. And the new 3DS. God, the new 3DS was like thousand dollars or something crazy. I've been thinking of uh, buying one for myself, but uh, I looked at that bill and I was like, hmm. That's money I don't have. Yeah, there's like the 2DS was. Um, yeah, that was it's like three hundred dollars. It was it was almost four hundred dollars. It was three three eighty, uh, and some change. Yeah, and that was like with a coupon to like knock off like I think like twenty or thirty dollars, um, like off the price. So it was gonna be like like just over four hundred dollars. Um, yeah. I ordered that a while ago, too. It's just insane. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. We'll probably get it in, like, maybe, like, a month or so, knowing, like... I th I'm assuming they chose, like, standard shipping and also, like, 
considering it's coming from freaking Japan. So... I've had stuff come from Japan and take forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> which, like, I can imagine, like, they got, like, an influx of orders, I guess, in November. Um, which is when I ordered it. Like, just uh, after I ordered it, they got an influx of orders. So, like, I had some amount of priority, but, like, getting an American 2DS over there for, like two months or whatever, doing the soldiering process. There was already, like, a wait list and sending it over. They're just now sending it over. It's gonna be a while still. But, um, I have so many videos that I have planned. Things that I don't think have been covered on YouTube before. Like, like, what? like um, how to capture, like, legendaries for, for competitive battling and stuff. Like, there's certain measures to take. There's, like, a whole, like, multi-step process for how to, like, um, how to, uh, what's it called? Soft reset faster? And mm -hmm. how to, like, just skip some soft resets, like, turn zero, basically. Knowing, like, wow. everything and what Pokemon to bring for what purpose. Like, there's this whole, whole thing. It was outlined on Nugget Bridge very, very well by, I don't know what author, but I'm gonna try to make a video on that. I'm gonna try to make a video on just a few things. Uh, EV training hasn't really been updated by a major YouTuber in a long time. Not that we're major YouTubers, but like... What are you talking about? People know about us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, I'm hoping, like, the the first big project I want to tackle is that, uh, is the soft resetting thing. Because that could potentially put us at some significant place. I'm not talking, like, Cybertron status, but like somewhere along those lines um, to be seen as a legitimate source of VGC information. By the way, I went into top 8 at the last VGC I went to. Yeah, you should talk Regionals. about that. Yeah, that was insane. Like, that was so insane. Like, I pretty much talked about it all in the, uh, the, the video, the, the vlog that I uploaded. Freaking, how long was it? How long ago was that? Two months like, ago, maybe? A month ago. It says a month ago. But I went, like, two months ago. Like, that was, like, super late. Like, that should have been uploaded probably, like, within the week. But, um, I was just preoccupied with a bunch of other stuff and work and whatnot. So, I, it was late. Whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I went into top eight at the, the PC challenge at the, uh... At that regionals and that was a huge honor like i got to see like cybertron and everything like like aaron zang like that was great and um just watching that last battle and everything uh winning mats for my friend who was stupid and didn't get a mat and <laughs> you watched the you watched the vlog right yes i did yeah like that was i don't know it was just a super fun event it was great I, like everything every regionals i've been to every event that i've ever been to is going to be great we're going, are you go? you're going, we talked about this like a while ago, do you're still planning on going to, um, to Worlds in, uh, San Francisco? With if me? money and time permits, I mean, I mean, I guess if I won't be in school, then probably. I think it's, um, actually I have no idea when it is, but, like, it's, I think it's coming up in, like, a few months, it's, uh, it's in, during the summer, I think. Hang on. I can probably check right now. I should probably check since I'm talking about it. You're not going to E3. No. Talk about that. Why? Why would anybody go anymore? Because of the Nintendo shit? You mean just um, <laughs> Zelda? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm Zelda not 3. Just, Zelda I'm E3. Not for Zelda U at all because they said it was 2015 or 2016 and mm. 2017, yeah, now, so I have I have lost interest in Zelda view for a bit. Oh wow. So that's basically what all E3 is gonna be, so Yeah. Well so the thing is they said um like people like all those clickbait articles that are saying like Nintendo won't have a digital event, blah 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 blah. Okay, but they are gonna have an event. They have the the stream like booked already. It's like um I think it's like a like a almost an hour long stream of Reggie talking, and we, we all we know is that like Reggie is going to be introducing a lot of things, and there's going to be developers. Some of the developers are going to come and talk, 
as well. Um, and then it's gonna end with like a, the treehouse. Well, not end, I guess continue on for the next several days straight with the treehouse because that's how um, E3 basically always is for uh, Are they gonna be playing for Zelda for the rest of the day? I know for the rest of the first day, for sure, they're going to be talking about Zelda, and they're going to be, like, playing Zelda. Zelda's going to be one of the games on the on the show floor. We know that for sure. And it's going to be, um, they said, an extensive demo. So... Well, yeah, I'd assume so, because there's nothing else. Yeah, well... I don't know, I think I'm I think, among the, like, group of people who are saying, like, E3's going to be dead within the next five years. Yeah, no, totally. Not dead, but, like, a lot no, of people lower, are pushing key. away from it. Like, Nintendo has been, like, trying to make strides to push away from it for a while. Ubisoft has, like, a bunch of just big companies. Activision isn't even going to be there, uh, supposedly. So, like, I mean, this just tends to be... It, I think it's good to have competition anyways within, um, within that kind of media showing in the gaming industry. That's kind of like a sub-industry within itself. I don't even know how to describe that, but it's good to have competition, you know? Nintendo Direct has been like a huge, um, a huge competitor to that. Anyways, Nintendo just kind of doesn't give a shit about E3. Yeah, because they have their own form of it, I guess you could say. Yeah, and they um, they show a lot more like in their directs than a lot of companies do by themselves at E3. Maybe like yeah. Square had a pretty big E3 last year, but that was like their first E3. Look at what like. Microsoft showed or Sony showed and then compare that to any one of the Nintendo Directs, you know? Even if like, they like don't show what people quote unquote want to see <clears throat> it's still something that shows that Nintendo's still alive and I don't know if they're still alive at this point because right now they only have Paper Mario um, Sun and Moon and Zelda U that's it. Federation as far Force as we know. Feder Federation Force. Yeah, Federation Force, I guess. Um, there's a bunch it. of like apps and stuff that were announced, like the Animal Crossing. So there's a few things. There's stuff going on. It's just we don't know. We don't know anything right now. Nintendo has been not the best, but has had great intentions of keeping things pretty under wraps. Uh, so I don't know. Wow, we're like about 20 minutes in right now. We haven't even talked about the big news. No. <clears throat> you want to go for it? Um, Hopefully. yeah, I guess, I guess, um, so today, um, was, no, May 10th, May 10th, 2016, we okay. got our, um, I'm gonna try to have it up today, I'm gonna try to have this up today, so you can say today, I guess. Our reveal trailers for the starters of Pokemon Sun and Moon, which were announced, if you haven't heard... If you only get your Pokemon news through us, <laughs> which I, I guess is dead uh, flattering. I'm so sorry. Um, Thank Pokemon you. Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon were, were announced. It's the next generation, basically. At this mm -hmm. point, I'm saying it's the next generation. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Generation 7 was announced uh, fucking... Uh, I don't remember what month it was. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Today, we got the first uh, gameplay trailer for the game after however long it's been and well we got our starters and the legendaries and what the region's gonna look like and a very touching Japanese trailer yeah, that's cute so um, within these uh, trailers we we learned about the starter as, as I've just said and you want to go through them? Yeah, sure. Um, roulette? Ro roulette? Roulette? Ro roulette? R Russian roulette. Um, Russian roulette. The grass quill Pokemon. Uh, grass yes. flying type. It's kind of like an owl. It's kind of cute. I really like it, actually. I like the little bow I really tie. like it, yeah. I mean, yeah. when I... I'm going to be honest. When I first saw the trailer, like, I was like... Uh, what are these? <laughs> like... Maybe because it was just... The um, pop, 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 was the first thing I saw, and it just kind of yeah. threw me off. Yeah. And then I looked to the left, and there was Litten. I was like, "What?" And then <laughs> I saw get, Roland. Get Litten. No, we're not doing that. 
I'm not gonna get I'm lit. tired of I'm tired of getting lit jokes. Okay. If you guys fucking wanted to make get lit jokes, where were you when Litwick was a thing? Where were you when <laughs> Litwick was a thing? Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, roulette is grass flying. Um, yeah. I like it. I mean, we haven't had a uh, a dual like first stage basic Pokemon, whatever you want to call it, uh, for a starter since Bulbasaur. So, I mean, that's kind of new. What do you mean? Oh, a dual type. Dual type, like first yeah, no, stage no, no, no. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I see what you're talking about. My bad. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think for the gra- grass starters. Have we even had any? Oh no! Okay, I guess uh, the Torterra line, right? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, just Torterra. No, Skeptile well, turned into a Grass Dragon. Like Grass Dragon, if you want to count. Mega that. Evolution. And then, and okay. then uh, wait, fuck. What's uh? <laughs> Chespin was the Grass Fighting. Right. I almost forgot Chespin existed. Yeah. No. Same. <laughs> um, I don't, I've. Every time I've tried to play through X and Y, I choose Chespin or Fennekin, and I just stop, like, halfway through, and I'm like, uh, I don't want this. You need to stop trying to play it so much. Like, you keep, like, killing your hype. Don't, like, don't do that. I mean, how I many times have you tried to play through it? Have you tried, attempted to play through it? You don't want to know. I know last Too time... Many. I know last time we talked about it, you, you had blank saves on X, Y, or, and us. Because I, I was trying to get, I was trying, I forget why, I forget what I was trying to do, but like, but like, you didn't have anything. Yeah, basically, uh, <clears throat> um, see, I have this like big grand plan in my, in my head for things, and things just never like work out, whether it's just like, I fall asleep for the night and then just wake up the next day and open it and just like, eh. And then never get back to it. It's like, I'm hyped one moment, and then I go to bed, and then something changes in my life, and, well, the cycle repeats. I mean, I used to be the same way. I guess I still am the same way. But, like, I just kind of, like, try to think about things and not get hype about things a lot. I've been, that's just been, like, a personal thing anyway, just trying to kill my hype. (laughs) Just Mm. to see if, like, the hype is still there um, later. Like, that's just always just been a thing that I've tried to do recently for, like, even just, like, the little things, even, like, school or just whatever, like, the next day, whatever is going on the next day. Um, or and even, like, just... hours later, because even, like, anxiety, I get anxious over things really quickly, and then, like, two hours later, it doesn't matter, and I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyways, and roll I... it. And then I played other games, and, like, yeah. Uh, things just, like, continue on from there, and... Pokemon just kind of, like, took a backseat for a good year. Yeah. Um, and it's just only now starting to start back up. I think Red and Blue kind of started up the hype again for me, but then again, it's just Red and Blue and Yellow. Yeah. And then Fire Emblem came out, and, well, I'm still trying to play that. And, uh, here we are now with, uh, Roll It. So, yeah, roll it. <laughs> um, um, b- but we digress. Um, where do you think the uh, final evolution is going to be, typing-wise? Uh, for roll it? Yep. I mean, grass flying. You think it's going to stay grass flying? I, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Maybe they would, like, obviously the one that they would change would be flying, but for what? Like, the, the final evolution is going to be, like, an owl thing. Like, grass. <laughs> Psychic? Because wisdom? I don't know. Because owls are wise? Like, what else would it be? Uh. Grass dark. Because it's an owl, and it can see in the dark according to uh, the Pokedex entry on the Pokemon website, Pokemon.com. Pokemon forwards, not forward slash, uh, hyphen, sunmoon.com. You actually uh, bring up a point that I haven't thought about before, is that moon and it being nighttime, and we have two nocturnal Pokemon for starters. I don't really know much about seals, but... Uh, perhaps they are nocturnal. Maybe they're nocturnal too. Like, they, like, owls and cats can both see in the dark pretty well. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Litten even has like uh, these like yellow eyes. Yeah, that's an interesting um, concept. So I think either it'll stay grass flying type and just be very bulky, or become grass dark bulky, and still be remain bulky. <laughs> but then it'll be weak to fairy. So there's that. I mean, it's already four times a week to, to, ice, to ice, and I mean, you know... I mean, losing its ice weakness would be great. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, it has, um, uh, a, a brand new, new move. move that we've never heard of before called Leafage. Um, yeah, I, I mean, guess that's gonna be, like... Huh? Because it's gonna be Vine Whip, basically. Yeah, it's gonna be, like, the Vine Whip of that. Sp of... Speaking of that move, it looks kind of, like, special. Like... It, a yeah. special attack. The animation and everything, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a special attack. I almost thought it was Absorb at first. I was like, no, because no orbs are going back to it. Um, So, this is the, the description of Rolette that they released. Rolette can attack without making a sound. It flies silently through the night skies, drawing near to its opponent without being noticed, then lashing out with powerful attacks. It can also attack from a distance using razor sharp leaves that form part of its feathers. Its visual abilities are impressive. The darkness of night is no obstacle to roll it. It can twist its neck nearly 180 degrees from front to back. I love when it did that in the trailer. <laughs> um, so it can easily see behind itself. It has a habit of turning its head in battle to face its trainer to receive instructions. That's kind of cute actually. Uh, mm -hmm. The move Leafage attacks an opponent by striking it with leaves. Uh, Rolet knows this move from the moment it becomes your partner. God, I just love how cute five. it is. It, it kind so, of has uh, the chessman vibe of like not yeah. being like an like a plant or something like everything else. Yeah. Like it, it's not like all like covered in green. It just has like a little green little bow tie, and that's it. So, um, speaking of bird and green, shout out to my homegirl, Katori Minami from Love Live, who basically is just this Pokemon. I'll, oh, I'll yeah. send you a picture of her, and, uh... Text me a picture uh, really quick. And, uh, you'll see. Text me a picture really quick. Um, I'm gonna go over Litten. So, Litten is our fire, uh, starter for this generation. Like, for I just like how the ability that it has is Blaze. Oh, by the way, um, Rillet's ability is Overgrow. So, yeah. L Litten's ability is Blaze for, like, the lit Pokemon. I don't know, it's just kind of funny. Um, Litten... Well, I mean, that's going to be the, the, the ability regardless of mm. what kind of Pokemon it is for. It's a starter, so... So, yes. one thing that I wanted to just kind of point out was that... And this might just be, like, a development thing. Like, they might replace it later on, or maybe they're just keeping the animations, but... When Litten used Ember, it was the exact same animation from XY and Oros. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. I just figured that well, like, I mean, that was worth pointing out. Look at, look at, um... I think Gen 1 to Gen 2, Ember? It's almost the same thing. I think a lot of work... Didn't they change all the animations, though? Between... Most of them, yes. There was some that just completely retained. Mm-hmm. Interesting, okay. I'll okay. send you pictures of her. What? I'll no, yeah, no, pictures. I saw, I saw. I mean, look, um, at, look at her hair, and then look at... Look at... A little... Yeah. Little bit. I know, also, I her name is just Bird, actually, because that's Katoria's Bird. Yeah, I know, the, the hair color is, like, exactly... Even, like, the eyes and everything. Like, uh -huh. like, just the... Yeah. <laughs> I totally, I totally get you, yeah. So I'm expecting a lot of people to name Rolet Katori. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Um, so Litten. L the Litten. I know. Fire Cat Pokemon. Um, logical but also passionate. Litten always remains cool-headed and doesn't show its emotions on the surface. This is completely not me. Litten can attack with flaming hairballs. Hang on, just soak on that for a bit. Yeah, it's gross. Its fur is rich in oils and immensely flammable. Litten grooms itself by licking its fur, and then uses the collected fur as fuel for fireball attacks. What? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That is so gross, I love it. 
Um, when the time comes for Litten to shed its old fur, it all burns up in a glorious blaze. The move Ember attacks an opponent by firing a small flame at it. Litten knows this move from the moment it becomes your partner. It, um, it just fucking spontaneously combusts when it has to shed. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I was, <laughs> so like, whatever is going on with this fur, it's flammable. Like, yeah. just freaking licks it and then probably just like, like, like every time it cleans itself, it probably just like is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for the typing, I think it would be cool for it to go to maybe either fire dark but that sounds very profile-y because it's a black yeah. cat. Yeah. Um, I was also I also came across a theory by uh, Roger's base on YouTube. He said fire poison because of the hairballs. That's interesting. I know fire electric is a pretty popular one. Fire, fire poison. Electric. Yeah, because like the the yellow eyes and like something to do with like its name and like uh and like electricity or something. I don't know. Apparently, it's, a, it's like, a popular concept or something. Hmm. But, um, I guess probably, like, it's foreign names or something also is, like, it's electric something. But, um, which could just, like, also allude to, like, the fact that it's fire anyways. Uh, fire electric is a very interesting type combination. Yeah, I don't think we have any Pokemon with that, do we? I, f I don't think so. No. No. I feel like this is gonna be a very frail Pokemon, though. Yeah, I think I kind of get the glass cannon vibe. Realistically, I think it's gonna be fire dark, though. Yeah. Like just from the way it looks and like its expression and like the fact that it's a cat at night and like hiding and stuff like that. I don't know. I just kind of see fire dark from it, which could be like a cool contrast to the fire dark dog Pokemon. I don't know, there's gonna be some cool little things there, I think. It'll I like have, that idea. Head cannon. It'll, it'll have um, an evolution above it. I mean, I guess if you count Mega Ham doing him as a, an evolution, but I really don't. Yeah, no. Um, also, last Pokemon. Or last starter. Poplio. Yeah, the last Pokemon of Sun and Moon. <laughs> the, the game will have 16 new Pokemon. Yeah, um, Meowth is one of them. Did you see Meowth in the trailer? I did. I think a lot, a lot of people so, missed it. I'm guessing it's gonna have Kanto Pokemon. I think they're gonna heavily cater towards Kanto, yeah. Anyway, um, well, Poplio. Poplio the, the, the least popular one, and... The third one. The one that needs to grow on me the most, because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, the expression kind of, like, screams, like, cartoony. And I've never been a um, big fan of like those cartoony looking Pokemon, like I mean, Shaman Sky, etc. You look at Oshawa huh? and then you look at this, and it's like, yeah, I gotta get the same feeling from the two. But like the way that just Poplio presented itself in the trailer when it first came out, kind of made it look like it didn't belong there. Like it didn't look finished for some reason. Like they were just like, up oh, head on body fins, we're good. Let's just ship it now. Even like the like. Visually, it's just kind of like unimpressive, like color wise, there's not much going on. Yeah. Most Pokemon, like, okay, look at the other Pokemon. There's yeah. a, a three or four tone thing going on here. Litten has three tones, uh, Rollet has four tones, Puplio has white, One. which doesn't really count, blue, and light blue around the neck. And it's pink nose, I guess. Like, um, which it has none the nose of, it of a it just kind of looks like, like for this generation, for Gen 1, I could see it being a pretty popular Pokemon. Even for like Gen 2, but like, now that Pokemon designs are a bit more complex, it just looks kind of ridiculous for a starter. <laughs> it looks like a Pokemon you just find. Yeah, it looks um, kind of ridiculous not anyways. Not the starter. It feels, yeah. It's like not a starter. It looks like but, it should um, take like the Bazel kind of like route. <laughs> You know, yeah, and I not mean, just not be the starter, but be like the water poke, the fast water Pokemon later. I, I don't know. It's definitely I the just, weakest of the three, at least first stage. I, I'm not gonna hate in it, in my opinion, because I know a lot of my friends like it, and I, I don't understand why they do. 
but um, I, I'm gonna, I'm, it's just gonna have to grow on me. Like for like, Gen Six's starters were all very strong in their own very unique ways. Like, even like first age, like Froki, Fennekin, and Chessman all had legitimate like very support strong fan them. bases and support behind them and they're all like interesting in different ways like none of them seemed to scream like a particular theme you know mm -hmm. whereas like gen 3 i kind of get the sense that like they're all the same thing like gen 6 they all seemed interesting and different and i liked that whereas Puplio just looks ridiculous it's just derp it's very derp it's very derp Maybe that's the appeal. He just looks like a, a dumb dog. I don't know. It's like the the absent-minded one in like a harem anime it's, or it's, something. It's, it's me. It's me. That's why people like it. <laughs> that's why all your friends like it. It's great. Um, um, also, I mean, huh? It is the most expressive out of the two. Other two, I'll give it that. I would actually say the Litten's more expressive, just because it has a fuck you kind of face. I can- I think Puplio can probably make more expressions? I think he's- it just looks so stupid. It just looks like cartoony. Like, I- I'm one who doesn't like the cartoony looking Pokemon, like, they look like they can be straight out of their own cartoon series. Hmm. Like, Shaman Sky, I didn't really like, but I like Shaman, which is more animal looking. You know, like, those kind of Pokemon. What? It's a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. It's a literal hedgehog. But, like, it also, like, looks more animal-like, you know? It doesn't have, like, the big U-shaped mouth and huge anime-looking eyes, you know? Like, um, Puplio kind of has that vibe going for it, and I just, I'm not a big fan of it, of its design, what type, what type? What type do you think it'll be when it is at final? This isn't I... my final form. I I think it's gonna be pure water type actually maybe water ice, um, it just look I don't know there's just not a whole lot to gain from it, like I think it's gonna evolve into some fucking clown looking thing. Even if we didn't know that Rolette was gonna be a grass flying type, we would probably be speculating grass flying right because yeah. it has wings and it's a fucking bird. Litten like screams like fire dark you know, Puplio mm -hmm. just kind of looks. Like, a water there. type. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll take the uh, the liberty of reading this description if, if uh, Go for you it. guys want to listen. Go for it. Uh, Poplio's swimming speed is known to exceed 25 miles per hour. It's better at moving on the water than on land. Still, when it's on land, it takes advantage of the elasticity of its balloons to perform acrobatic stunts and jumps. Poplio can so uh, snort out balloons made of water. Watch it spin water also balloons gross. into a playful battle strategy. Both gross. frivolous and hardworking, Poplio can get easily carried away, unleashing enough power in one battle to make quite a spectacle. Yeah, I, I don't know, that just hit me right now, what I just read. Um, <laughs> Poplio can get easily carried away, unleashing enough power in battle to make quite the spectacle. But Poplio's determined spirit means it can usually be found practicing hard on its balloon skills. The water gun move attack an opponent's. What, what, what? The water gun move attacks opponents <laughs> by firing jets of water. Poplio knows this move from the moment it becomes your partner. Okay, I, I get the whole, like, theme behind, like, things like these these starter pokemon have things coming out of their bodies that are their attacks mm -hmm. <laughs> like rollet has like very gross. leaves and feathers which I mean, is Rolet okay whatever it is super gross Puplio has like snot bubbles that attacks with it's just kind of weird like i don't want to put bubble beam on Puplio. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know this is weird um, Speaking of Bubble Beam, no other starter except Squirtle has learned Bubble Beam. That's just an interesting fact. Huh. Okay. That is it. 
Really? I've never noticed that before, I guess. That's interesting. And like, it is interesting. I think only like the Squirtle line, um, Staryu, Krabby, maybe... Um, I can look it up just... right now if you want. Bulbapedia Bubble Beam. <laughs> Keep talking. Clauncher. Uh. Fuck. What else? I don't know. Shelter. <laughs> You're talking about like learning it naturally, because I know it's like a TM and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh. Learn set by leveling up. Okay, so the Poliwag line, Tentacruel line, Krabby, Horsey, Star You, Star Me, Shin Chow apparently. Uh, Meryl, Politoed. There's a there's a few I guess. Corsola, Remoraid. Line, uh, Mantine, Kingdra, Suicune. Suicune? Hmm. That's, I didn't know that. But why would it? Okay. Well, Lotad. It would it because, uh, if you, I guess if you had it lower leveled, then. At level 8, apparently. <laughs> at level 8. If you have a level 8 Suicune, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Surskit is it? There's like, seriously, like, uh, a lot more. A whole actually. bunch, yeah. Oh, well. I guess I okay. was wrong. Starter wise, though. Actually, wait, Squirtle isn't on here. Okay, no, yeah, Piplup. Piplup. It's, uh, Piplup learns it. It's, um, War wait, Turtle, my... Prinplup, and eventually probably Poplio. I don't think this is accurate because, yeah, I, I actually think that Poplio is going to be able to learn it. I don't think this is accurate because my Squirtle in, um, or War Turtle or whatever in yellow has, uh, has Bubble Beam. Or had yep. Bubble Beam. I got rid of it. When you accidentally erase moves in first yeah, gen like, because you're not thinking? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I was trying to teach some... Um, oh, what was it? I, was, I think it was... Uh, Slam to Pikachu? And I got rid of um, Thundershock? Yeah, everyone, and, uh, yeah. No, it was Quick Attack. Quick Attack that does that. It was that's, one that's, of the, the two. that's a stereotypical one that people do. If if I got I got rid of Thundershock somehow, and I had taught um, my Mister Mime Thunderbolt, and so oh. basically Pikachu became useless. <laughs> Pikachu learns Thunderbolt later, though. No, not in blue and yellow. I oh, mean blue right, and red. yeah, no, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear this. <laughs> so Marcel is the one that knows Thunderbolt. What? Marcel the Mr. Mime. Marcel? That Marcel is the... Oh, that's it's, a great name. It's, it's a traded Mar uh, Mr. Mime. That's the only way to get Mr. Mime. I thought it was Mimen. Nope. Oh, they changed it, I Marcel. Hmm, okay. Mimen is in a third that gen. That was a... Leaf yeah. Leaf Green. Okay. That's such a weird, that's a, random that's a thing to change. Name. Yeah. I like Marcel better. It looks like a Marcel. <laughs> I don't know why I think that, but it does kind of look like a Marcel to me. <laughs> Um, anyway, no so, more bubble beam. Legendaries, the um, uh, the lion and the bat thing. So I, I think, yeah. So um, I also want to say like I guess it it was confirmed somewhere apparently. Um, Serebi has ma uh mag Magiarna Magiarna Mag Margiana Margiana. No, there's margarine no butter. R. There's no margarine. Um, as a Gen 7 Pokemon. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, Legendaries. Um, we don't know their names, but it was trademarked a while ago. The names Solgaleo and Lunala. Solgaleo and Lunala. Um, and, like, I, I... It seems pretty possible, like, Lun Luna meaning moon and Ala mm. meaning wings. Sol meaning uh -huh. sun. Leo meaning lion, and it might also be a take on the Galileo, which like is the person who came up with or discovered, I guess, the, the heliocentric theory, or not the heliocentric, not the planets, yeah, heliocentric the, theory, yeah. as opposed to geocentric theory, which is like revolves around the sun. So I mean, I don't know. I think that's, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I I, I think it's likely. It's likely, but I don't think it's one hundred percent confirmed. Well, no, it's not confirmed at all. Um, in fact, it's literally just, like, question marks on the website, even. So, it's literally question mark, question mark. So, did, did, um, 
Did looking at any of them change your view of which version you're gonna get? Uh, well, I'm gonna get both. Yeah. Like, the thing is, I don't know what I'm gonna start with, though, because I think I'm gonna start with Sun, but just mostly just because, like, I like fire, like, red is my favorite color, and, like, just sun, everything, and all that, the... I don't know, like, like I think... But, like, loot... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't I like, know. I like... I like both of them. Yeah. But, but, um, I think I'm gonna start with Moon, because I like the dark, and being outside when it's dark, and, um, an emo. Oh, your, your emo? Yeah. Oh. I got my hair over <laughs> my eyes, and, um, I'm just, like, in a corner with my arms crossed, and, uh, I like yeah. the darkness. Yeah. You like Do you the think it's gonna be um team um solar team? Team eclipse? Good question. I want just an eclipse to happen in the game. Yeah, I it'll want, either be I a solar eclipse shit. or a lunar eclipse. Like that's yeah. what happens or triggers their awakening as like a solar or a lunar eclipse. That's what That'd I'm thinking. Be. Well, like, a lunar eclipse is literally just, um... Like, that happens every month. Yeah. Like, lunar eclipses aren't really special, but, like, solar eclipse... I think, like... I want something just epic to happen. Even, like, the, um... The, uh... The symbols, I guess? Mm. Icons? Um, kind of look like an eclipse is happening, or about to happen. Like, it's, like, half-eclipsed. So. Also, speaking of, of uh, icons, if you compare Sun and Moon to Fate, uh, Conquest, and Birthright, those are the same fucking logos. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, I did see that comparison, actually, on Twitter <laughs> or something. So anyway, the typings for these legendaries, what do you think they're going to be? Uh, I would be disappointed if it weren't... If, like... The sun legendary wasn't fire. Yeah. And, um... I kind of... I'd, I'm not sure, but the moon legendary to be dark, too. I don't know if, that, if like, that entirely makes sense, because, like, moon comes out at night, but it also reflects light, so I don't know. But, um... Are you thinking of any secondary types for these? Ah... Uh, so like back to like the fire electric thing. <clears throat> the lion Pokemon looks fire electric. Like hmm. just like there's actually more yellow on him than there I is mean, red. Or I orange wouldn't be or surprised. Because you know what else doesn't look like what it's supposed to be? Palkia. Palkia does not look like a water type. <laughs> doesn't look like a dragon either. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't, yeah, I just don't know. I mean, fire I think for sure. Fire primarily, yeah, but, um, if and then it dark a secondary for, type. Dark for Lun Lunala or whatever it's going to be called. Uh, so for that one, I think it'll be interesting if it were a dark fairy because moon. I was thinking the same thing, or like dark psychic because it kind of has the Cresselia vibe going on. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Or hear, or hear me out if they introduce a new type in this gem. Um, dark. Cosmic type? Cosmic. Cosmic dark. Cosmic because, dark. Because that could cover the other legendary too. Cosmic fire? Cosmic fire and cosmic dark. That... Also, that would re tab Kofari again. <laughs> <laughs> and it would make Deoxys <laughs> and. Um, Jirachi Cosmic. Yeah. Um, Jirachi Sol already has two Solrock, types. Solrock and Lunatone, you can just take out Psychic. Basically, yeah, just I replace guess. a Deoxys' Psychic type and Jirachi's Psychic type. And if... uh, Solrock and Lunatone, you can probably keep it Psychic co Cosmic. And, um, Get rid of the Rock typing. Yeah. Um, more things than you think come from space. Oh, yeah, no. Like, Pokemon is definitely heavily influenced by space with all the lore. Um, I... If they do, I, I would say that it would be light type, just because it's been, like, talked about before, stereotypical, whatever, Pokemon pays attention or not. But, um... Like, 
the the sun legendary is mostly white like yeah it's like it's almost like it's wearing white armor except it's clearly fur because it's moving and swaying like i i i don't know it's a weird design i really like the moon the moon legendary but the sun legendary is so weird looking I like the what uh, the, the moon legendary does when it's doing a like, signature attack. It just like folds into a, like a moon shape. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that too. I like. I'm assu yeah, I'm assuming that that's the signature attack at least. Um, and then you can see the signature attack of the lion one in the Japanese trailer if you look really hard. It's in the like when they're walking to the game store, and they have like the TVs on the front of the game store, and it's showing the gameplay. And it shows the um, the lion doing a signature attack. The um in the American um, uh, trailer also like there's a point where like it zooms in towards it and then like a bunch of like wind lines I guess or whatever kind of like go across the screen and um, the symbol of the sun appears like on its cosmic looking head. Its head mm -hmm. looks weird. Like both of their heads look weird. They kind of have like space in it, but it doesn't look like skin. No, it's like clearly spacey inside of it, like stars and stuff. I I don't know. I, I like, like the it. cosmos. The cos, yeah. Um. Anyway, you know, the the moon legendary kind of has it like throughout its whole body. I like it. I'm just so confused yeah. by the by the, the sun legendary. The design of the um, Moon Legendary, like on the box art, you can't really see its eyes, so it looks a bit off. Like, wait, the Moon eyes, Legendary? Yeah, I can't really see its eyes. You can see well, you can see one of the eyes. Are they red? Yeah. I see. What did you think the eyes were? Is it like in that like blue space, or it looks like it has uh, like one eye? Yeah, there's like, um, there's like the mouth, right? And then there's like a white streak going like halfway across the forehead. And then like on one side of that streak is a red eye and that or pink or kind of pinkish eye. And then like on the other side, you can only kind of see the other eye. Hmm. Yeah. I see. The, the sun legendary... It, the sun legend so the sun legendary has blue eyes and the moon legendary has red eyes. It kind of like I'm getting like kind of like the yin yang kind of feel. I kind of like that. I kind of like that idea. Like yeah, I don't know. Like I think they complement each other well together. Like you know, like light and dark. Like the the sun legendary looking white, having white fur everywhere, and the the moon legendary having like black and the cosmos and its wings like they look great together it's just by itself the sun legendary looks weird they look like they're symbols of the game they're what if you compare the symbols to their faces they look exactly like the like, oh, yeah, like of the game the lion's mane and the uh crescent yeah totally yeah no i i noticed that as well like especially like when they introduced it when they introduced uh the sun legendary like it straight up just like looks at the camera and like especially like with all like the white streaks and like armor i guess i don't know like i kind of get like a suicune vibe from like the armor around its face um i think i think it's safe to say people can stop speculating about um that garden in kalos now because that's clearly this pokemon now that missing pokemon that we had no idea what it was it could either be oh like, oh um, i forgot about that i think it's this pokemon Huh, I have to look it up really quick. Hang on. Do you have a screenshot? Mm-mm. Um, Kalos, Garden, Legendaries. <laughs> what, what, um... The Parfume Plat Palace, right? Yeah. There was, like, two... Like, one was, like, a palace and one was, like, a castle, and I get yeah. too confused a lot. There's Zorok, and then there's Pyroar, and then there's uh, Chandelure. Yeah, okay, so Soul Rock on the upper right, Pyroar on the bottom left, Chandelure, and then the the top left actually mm -hmm. just kind of looks, it's a square. It could just be a square. 
<laughs> People were looking into it too hard, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what on earth, actually? I completely forgot about this. It's, um, um, it's Rotom Freeze. It almost looks like one of the Reggies or something, like the face of one of the Reggies. Reggie Fizume? Reggie what? Reggie Fizume? Fizume? <laughs> nah. Uh, but like, you know, like the, the whole like multiple eyes thing? I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just a square. Do you think that this is the neighboring region? Yeah, definitely. Let's, like, I guess we have some other, um, some other news before we get into, like, the speculation, but we should, like, I don't know, there's heavy stuff there. Um, okay, so there's the, the new, the new professor, I guess? Uh, I guess I'm I don't think the it's professor. a professor. I don't know. Kukui? No, no. He's not the professor? No. <laughs> Kukui is the, like, assistant <laughs> to the professor. Oh, you but, think... Um, oh, wait, are you being sarcastic, or actually... No, no, I'm actually... I'm being actually... I think... Like, who would, who's the professor? That older guy. The guy, like, the the Watson kind of looking guy? Yeah, I think it's him, but they don't specifically state as Professor... Whatever his name is. Uh, Kukui. No. Kukui's the, the Jay Woods looking guy, the, um... <laughs> Jay Woods. The guy without a shirt. And the hat. And yeah. the professor guy is the older, like, one that sends out the Pokemon. I kind of got the village elder kind of vibe from from the Watson-looking kind of guy. Yeah, either of them don't look like professors to me. Like, at least Kukui is wearing a professor I jacket. Like, I like a lab coat, yeah. Yeah. But maybe he might just be an assistant. Doesn't look very, like, clean. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't look like if he's doing experiments, like, the lab coat's kind of useless because he's not... Wearing, wearing a, a shirt. shirt or like <laughs> jeans or like like what if something just splashes on his leg and he dies like I don't know like oh, anyway, I don't know yeah. so he, he said he calls, he calls you, you cousin you cousin cousin although that's probably just like a culture thing anyways but yeah, I don't know I mean, what are you thinking that's what I was saying this morning family when nobody was awake no I'm thinking like he's just like hey what's up bro my cousin my buddy my pal Okay. And, um, I don't know, maybe it could be Cousin, because, like, in the Japanese uh, trailer, at the start of it, when the kid's playing the game in the car, you, like, you're, like, video calling with him on Skype. Yeah. And, uh... That's not also something I want to talk about, yeah. And I think that's, like, you're just going to Alola on your own, and he's there to meet you and, like, pick you up. Well, your mom is there. No, I don't think that's your mom. You don't think that's the mom? No. Ah. Uh, I kind of did kind of think that, like, the character would be on their own. Considering, like, the first, like, one of the leaks, like, or not leak, I guess, like, the, the development, like, photos and, like, drawings. That was in, like, the first trailer, the announcement trailer. Was, mm -hmm. um, was, like, the, I guessing, like, two things, humanoid things that could be the player characters. Um, and looking back, they kind of actually do look pretty similar to what we got. Um, like, at, like, the front of, like, a hotel or something. Yeah. So, I kind of did also get that vibe. Who do you think that that is, though, that woman? Do you think she's I a think professor? I think that's, that's, that's Kukui's wife, or girlfriend. Pro professor, maybe? Yeah, some relation to the professor, in some way. I don't know. Um, I think you're probably, like, Staying with him. With You're Kukui? Probably staying with Kukui and um, whoever that lady is. Mm. But I don't think you're, like, those Those are your parents. I don't probably think Kukui like, is, a, is the dad, but... <laughs> no. Daddy. He is a daddy, though. Even Apparently. just being... What, really? What? No. Don't you know the, uh... Never mind, all. you're too young. Dad Bob? No, he's got a dad bod if he was a dad, but I was thinking more of in the, um... Oh, daddy. Oh, call me like, father. Call me daddy. Call me daddy. Yeah, daddy. I think, anyway. like, for, for, to be your family, um, Kukui, like, doesn't... Because having a customizable trainer, and or at least, like, skin tone-wise, because they did show that, um, 
and like having like you can be totally pale or uh, like almost African American, like mm-hmm. having those be options and then giving you like such an obviously Hawaiian um, or like family, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, Islander. Um, I don't think you remember. I don't think they're cousins. Yeah, maybe I'd be cool if they were though. That would actually like add like a cool little layer to the to like the game. Actually, I would like that. Like realism, realistic. I don't know what it would be, but a really cool, interesting layer um, to the Alola region. <clears throat> so it's clearly based on Hawaii, um, mm-hmm. or like just like Polynesia islands, in general. Islands in general. Yeah. I think I, I definitely get like the Polynesian island kind of feel. Like even like the tiki looking things throughout the throughout the place. Like I don't know. I, I kind of really get that vibe. Um, so the one map that we got in the Japanese trailer. Do you think that's the entire region? No. No. It looks but like just I'm gonna get one into that, place, right? I'm gonna get into speculation for a bit later oh. because we still have like. Um, other things to talk about in news. So like trainer customization. Yes, we get I the like skin it. and skin and hair color, right? Mm-hmm. But we didn't show clothes. But sort of it did. What do you mean sort of? Um didn't you uh the thing that I retweeted? That, have you seen that thing where like the sh- the bottom of his shorts are a different color and like Yeah, no, it, that yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think I, I tweeted it or retweeted it, but um, yeah, yeah. It was like blue and then black in another screenshot, which just could be different versions, like different across different builds of the yeah. game, um, and through throughout development. But like, like if they were gonna customize the trainer, wouldn't you think that like they take more of the X and Y approach, where like the outfits look radically different as opposed to just color palette swaps? Um, I like I don't like, see, I don't I see those. Like, t- go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't feel like. like I don't. Rich- <laughs> Customization is returning, just not to the degree of X and Y. Like customization and the uh, fact that we can pick what we look like at the beginning. I don't think we're gonna get into the like clothing maybe at the most hair and hat but um i don't think clothing will change dramatically because that's more of a callous thing as masuda once said each region has its own special thing and um dressing up was callous's thing unless this is kind of getting into speculation but like unless you go over to callous and that's the only place where they have clothes i i would be disappointed though if there wasn't, um, I would actually be disappointed if there wasn't uh, clothing customization. Shrug. Because if you look at them right now, just the way that the trainers look in general, they look not boring, but like not finished or like bland. Bland. You say bland. Yeah, bland. They're not like disappointingly like bad or boring. They're just yeah. Yeah, even like compared to. Um, Especially the female character. The female character yeah, doesn't have a lot a chicken, going on. She has a chicken head on her head. God, I hate that hat so much. I hope we can change the hats at least. But um, like they looked oversimplified even for like Gen One status. Yeah. Like every other generation, like every iteration of the Avatar character has had just more going on. Like I don't know, except for X and Y. Um, which the outfits were literally only a jacket, not an undershirt, or no hint of any undershirt, shorts, mm-hmm. and a hat. Naked under that jacket. And for the female character, it was um, a dress. tank top and a skirt and a hat. Like, that... I don't know, like, like I'm kind of like... It almost screams customer characters or character customization customer. in the same way. Customer characterization. <laughs> in the same way that um, that X and Y did almost with like the simplicity of the default outfits. I don't know. I, I hope it's in there, but I'm not gonna get excited for it because I know I'm just gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm almost expecting it to not have it, just because of what Masuda said um, way earlier. 
And Aura said it was understandable because Brendan and May were um were already like defined like designs. Yeah, like I didn't mind not having custom character customization in Aura. So I think a lot of people did, but whatever. Like they're remakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where are they gonna put the stores? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's it's nice to have it in general, like the option to choose your skin color and hair, even if yeah. it's not your exact hair color. Which is why I'm saying I think you could probably change hair color. Yeah, yeah. Because well, I know a lot of light skinned people who do not have blonde hair. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, anyways, um, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are going to be released uh, November 18th. Uh, that's what we got. Koro Koro is coming out soon. Do you think that that's gonna shed any light on no. like um? Do you think we're gonna get the the legendaries names, for example? There's a lot of words Maybe. in Koro Koro. Maybe. Um. I think for Koro Koro, we're just going to get, um, like, the names for the legendaries or maybe, like, a few more, like, first Pokemon. Koro Koro tends to be, like, that thing that comes out right after a big Pokemon announcement and then just, like, sort of answers the obvious questions that people have. Yeah. So I think we're going to get, like, the names of the legendaries at least. Pro maybe? Maybe the types? Um, yeah. I don't know. In other news, shiny legendaries, the shiny uh, mascot legendaries for X and Y are going to be released. Um, we're or in the states at least. Um, we're going to get Bacon, Yveltal, and Shiny Xerneas. Um, and they just announced uh, a special battle season for um, for 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 Oros. I think it was Jodo. No. It's a VGC battle season. I know what you're talking about, though. The the Johto uh, um, uh, Classics uh, tournament. Yeah. No, but that was um, not a tournament, a uh, challenge. But um, there's going to be a special battle season uh, challenge as well, which is going by VGC rules. Mm. And that pretty much that wraps up the news. Okay, so yeah. Um, you asked me about the islands thing. I don't think that that's going to be the only area, no. I, because that looks that just was, like one town, one or two towns. Yeah, like, and for one, there was one Poke Center. Yeah. It showed a Poke Center, and there was literally only the one. So like, no, I don't think that's going to be it. I think it's going to be more like Hawaii, which is separating it, separated throughout multiple islands. And you're going to be able to go between island to island. Uh, hmm. Maybe surf will be a factor in that. Maybe it won't be, because they're pretty far away. Um, maybe it's going to be more like the Sevi Islands, where you're going to be able to travel to like a few of them within a close distance, but then you're going to have to like go on a boat or something and mm -hmm. until you get um, until you get fly later on. I think that... I don't know, that's just like a personal theory of mine. Um, even like the, the island that showed only had like five buildings on it. Like, yeah, and one of them was like um, like a dock. Yeah, like I don't know, and a couple of huts, like small little huts. I think maybe it's gonna be like, you know, like the starter town, and then like a yeah. little bit further away is like the city, the which is like the actual town. That tends to be the case in a lot of Pokemon games. I think it's gonna be kind of like that. Where, like, you're gonna start off in, like, the area where it's gonna be, like, a bunch of huts towards, like, the top of the island there. And then you're gonna, like, go down, like, the small little city town thing at the bottom. Where there's, like, the the one big tall building and then, like, a bunch of smaller buildings. I think it's gonna be like that. Like, I... I... I you can even see the end of the island. Mm-hmm. You can see, like, both ends. From both sides. Yeah, like, that can't be it. Maybe that's gonna be, like, the big island. I don't know. Or, like, one of the small ones. I don't see that being it. it. Now, the trainer models in battle, I don't think it'll be throughout battles. But, like, maybe when they send them out and, like, um, when they're getting attacked, but, um... I don't think they'll be there all the time, but it's nice to have them there anyway because I've always wondered what they were doing, and 
the only time um, like trainer models showed up in battle were in Colosseum and XD. I and, um, battle revolution, but they were there just to point and sh direct attacks. Well, so in the in the videos that we got of the battles of like even when like uh, uh, Litten was using like Ember. The trainer, like, it showed the trainer, like, pointing the hand out and, and, like, the mouth moving. And then, like, it showed, like, the perspective of, lit of um, the over-the-shoulder perspective of the of the animation. Even halfway through the animation, it did show the trainer. Hmm. So, like, I think it's possible that we're going to get that. That we're going to, like, and I just kind of, like, always... For a game that focuses around like character customization, X and Y didn't show the player character in battle that much, and that was kind of disappointing no. to me. Yeah. Um. I'm looking at the um, the footage that they showed right now, and like, yeah, it, it definitely looks like it. Like every every turn, it I think it's gonna like show the trainer like standing there. You know how like the battle perspective, like the camera perspective changes throughout a battle yeah. in, um, in X and Y and Oras. I think like the zoom in. The camera perspective is going to be like there's going to be a lot more of the camera looking at the trainer too. I think one of the more interesting thing to note is that um that the circles that used to appear under the uh, Pokemon aren't there. Yeah, there's a shadow now. There's like an actual shadow. Yeah, I noticed that as well. And it's just like oh, they're fighting on land basically, and uh, they're not on this like digital. <laughs> thing that just happens to be there. Well, in in X and Y and Oros, there was like the actual landscape too. Um, I think you're talking about like in um during like Wi-Fi battles and stuff. It would show like the digital landscape. Mm. I think that'll return. Like, cause I remember like in X and Y, you could use like Surf in a cave or something, and it would knock it down. Like there was like um consequences like to the arena in battle like if you use rock throw in a cave like it would knock like some of the oh yeah in yeah the if you use surf in cave um you would like knock over boulders yeah and like just like little cool. things like that like uh, i mean like that's how you got a lot of the items and stuff um so there there was like background like backdrops and parallaxes and stuff uh there was a use of that in the previous games but i think the it's cool that they show the shadows because it's whole playing off like the sun theme, you know, like there's light and it's casting a dark shadow. I don't know. I, I think thinking about it now, it wait, it makes like sense. That there's a shadow. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just reminding you that there's like a perspective of light, like light is coming from somewhere, a light source. I don't know. Um, I noticed that too. I didn't put that down actually. Yeah. What do you think about that that little UI that it showed in the Japanese version? Like, with, like, the video recording button and, like, the minimize, maximize, close buttons in the Skype chat. Oh, um, that'd be funny if you could, um, like, just completely talk, stop talking to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, never mind, I'm stumped, I'm done, I'm done. Kukui I don't want to become... like, saying something, like, totally, like, important, like, Oh, I love you so much, cousin. And they just exit. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, like that. That. What do you think that that's gonna be all about? Do you think that we're gonna be able to take like video? No, I think people are just over speculating on that. I think that's just the beginning. Like, um, intro cutscene. Kind of like or? intros, intro cutscene. Yeah, it's just um. Oh hey, I remember you. You're my friend, and this is what you look like, right? And oh yeah, this was your name, right? All right, cool. I'll, I'll meet you here in a second. I'm almost ready. I'll meet you. Yeah. Okay. Um, thanks for calling me. Boom boom. And that's where he asks, like, if you're a boy or you're a girl. Yeah. Um, which it would be super awkward if he couldn't tell over Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your voice only. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, well, like, video chatting, you would assume, like, he has decent eyes. He's wearing sunglasses, um, when he's Skype chatting, which is weird, I guess. Maybe he just has bad vision. Wait, is he? He's inside. Why is he wearing glasses? Um, <laughs> I don't know, that's funny. It looks like he's in a lab. I'm looking at the picture right now. 
Kukui. In that in that little um And he also waves. Yes. He waves. I like how emotional they are now. Emotional is that the right word? They emote a lot more. Expression. Expressive. Yeah, like the, the quote unquote rival I think the guy is supposed to be, um he smiles and it's like Oh yeah, oh, that's Tyrannosaur cool. tube. Oh that's him, huh? <laughs> it looks just like him. Uh, why did you put Tyranitar 2 in our game? Um, I think, yeah, I think they kind of, um, they tried that in X and Y, didn't they? To make the characters more expressive. And I think it, it definitely showed more in, um, in Oros. They were able to do, probably because of development issues, um, maybe just because of time, but Oros was able to show, like, way more emotion. Mm -hmm. Um... I, I liked that. I liked how they were, like, doing that. Which I... Because I always th think of those things in my mind. Like, when you're a kid, especially, and, like, you're imagining, like, Pokemon battles going down. You're imagining, like, talking to different people. Like, the girl with, like, who tells you about the white hand over your shoulder in, um, in Kanto. Like, you imagine, like, the, um, talking to that character. And you imagine talking to all these characters, especially, like, the huge cutscenes. Um... Even like the the background characters, um, they showed uh, the image of like the avatar character walking down the street in the new trailer, and um, there's just a guy standing by his truck, yeah, looking he looks at, at you, like you. watching you, like walk by, and like his expression changes like when you're looking at him, or no, but not when you're looking at him. When he first sees you, like you first like walk into his vision, his like eyebrows like go cro closer together, like oh, there's a person walking, um, like he like follows you, like. Like, little things like that, I think it's going to make the world feel way more real. Alive. Just like, alive. And, like, just even the background characters having, um... Having expression. I don't know, it's cool. It's subtle little things. It's the smaller it's, things that make Pokemon cool. It's a really pretty region. Like, Kalos was probably my favorite region, just because of how it looked. And just the region itself had like a really nice layout and just everything about it. Um, just, I don't know. I get you. I think this is also, this might actually be my favorite too, just based on how it looks. I was like immediately taken with, um, with Alola region. Just of what they showed so far. Like, I don't know. I really like everything about it. Especially because I'm really interested in, like, Hawaiian culture and Hawaiian um, mythology and everything. I think it's a really unexplored subject, in, especially in video games. Um, like, my game, I'm basing off of uh, Hawaiian mythology. I'm working on a video game right now. Um, mm. Like, I like I like that they're going that direction. I like just, just like, um, how Kukui just calls you, like, cousin. Just, like, everything, everything about it. Just, I don't know. I don't know, I really like it. I really like it, Rita. It's, it's very nice, I understand you. Like, it's pretty colorful. They're not exactly my favorite. Kalos isn't my favorite region. But um, I can understand where you're coming from. I just like looking, like, in these areas that they showed. They're just, like, green areas, like, with, like, the blue contrasted sky. Like, okay, there's a bunch of vegetation there. But then also seeing, like, little red fruits. Like, mm -hmm. throughout. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just really colorful and bright. And you can like see it. the mountains in the back. Yeah, just like, like you can see, like, the volcano and stuff. Like, it's, it, I don't know, it's really nice. I like it. I like, I like it. It's gonna be great. The clouds look super realistic. I don't know. The aesthetic of the game looks really nice. Like, even, like, when you're looking at something from far away, it's, like, a little, like, tinted bluish. Just, like, how the atmosphere works, like, IRL. <laughs> When you're looking at, like, a mountain from far away, we live in SoCal, so we're able to... We see stuff like that all the time. Um, when you're looking at a mountain from far away, it kind of, like, just the atmosphere gets in the way and makes it look really bluish. They incorporated that into the game. I hope like, this game has the buildings. sunsets. Oh, they better, yeah. Like, we didn't get that really in Kalos. We got, like the sunset rock or whatever it was called that big like thing that was supposedly linked to mega evolution the sundial mm -hmm. or or something like that like that had like the one sunset but this is hawaii <laughs> you know like 
I would kind of... I don't know. I think it's going to be a really pretty region. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to this game, too. It's um, it's not that far away, either, so... No, it's like um, November. How, how long? Half a I'm year? I'm just glad, like, all this, like, speculating on what the region's going to be, what the starter Pokemon are, what the legendary Pokemon are, are just done. Now we can move on to different top ten lists, like <laughs> the top ten list of what I think the gym leaders are going to be. Top ten types that I think that should be included in this game. Top top five, um, top five Alola Pokemon. Top five worst, um, <laughs> top five worst moments of Monday, Tuesday. Out of, out of the six Alola Pokemon, the top five Alola Pokemon, like, the seal Pokemon would just get left out. What's his name again? Puplio. Uh, Puplio. Poop Puplio. You see, I forgot its name already. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Sun and Moon are gonna be good games. Since they're gonna, they're still gonna impress me no matter what because it's Pokemon. And I, I joke most of the time when I say I don't like a Pokemon. I know that's just gonna grow on me. And a lot of the Pokemon that I that we have are my friends, and I like to take care of my friends. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sure at some point that um, Lit, 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 Litten. whatever, Litten and Poplio will be good partners for me. So you don't um, like Litten's design? No, I don't. Hmm, okay. Uh, I, I even have a hard time with Roll It. So <laughs> um, it'll I just take more time for me. Us. Okay. Final uh, thoughts? Um, November needs to come sooner. Yes, so, I just looked up six months away. People need to stop speculating. Six um, months and eight days. Make some good content. I can I can trust you guys. You can you can I do don't it. Trust them. I don't I don't uh, trust Munching Orange. Or Tyranitar Tube for that matter. Munching Orange maybe, but Tyranitar Tube. You can edit that out if you want to. <laughs> I mean if it, it's a call out if um that's that's what it's gonna get us popular. Um, oh god, I hope not though. Yeah, just just take that. I want to get I want to get popular through our own means, um, <laughs> through good content, through actually yeah, having. If, good if you content. want good content, you gotta do it yourself, right? Mm -hmm. We don't do a whole lot of content, period. But when we do, it's the shit. It's fucking lit, as the kids would say. Yep. Um, Blaze. Let's 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 not do any more lit memes, please. I'm I'm done. I'm gonna. I, well, what what starter do you think you're gonna choose? Roll it. You gonna choose roll it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get lit. Tin. Okay. You're done. Where can we find you? <laughs> um. <laughs> I asked that question just to make that joke. Um, Where can we find you, Rita? You can you can find me on Twitter. Still at Snow Halation. Before I yeah. change it, eventually, because you're gonna, you are gonna change it. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. There's nothing. The, the, the word that the app that I want to use is taken, and mm. um, and so I don't want to like do some weird play. I on still that. don't have my t my own Twitter. No, you don't. And uh, I guess that's okay. Maybe. I mean, you kind of made it your I'm... own Twitter. I guess kind of. I, I don't kind know of why you have bad. a yellow you have a yellow Pikmin as your avatar. <laughs> I was well that was me when I was working. Um I was just I was tired all the time and frustrated and just just completely out of it. And so like that Pikmin just totally like spoke to me. Just like the head like leaning against the rock wide eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um Um I don't know what do you think? Get good in or hunting you? Hunting you. Twitter Twitter names. Hunting you? Yeah. Okay. You don't wanna okay. automatically like tell somebody to get good if they don't deserve it. You yeah. Don't be rude. Well telling someone that you're that you're hunting them is also kind of rude. Not rude, Dude. but like Intimidating. Anyway. Where else can we uh, find you on the internet? You can also follow find me. <laughs> If, you, if you're so inclined 
to find, find Rita. Else, find else, Rita. Find me elsewhere on the internet. You can find me at um, Ian Baker. E I I E N Baker. Not Ellen Baker. <laughs> Ian Baker. Ian Baker. Uh, because that is an account that I run. We're at five thousand eight hundred forty-one strong. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not going to explain any more of that. If you know who Ellen Baker <laughs> is, cool. But um, if you don't, don't worry about it. It's that's a, a conversation a, for another time. That's another conversation for a completely different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have been Ellen Baker Sensei. You have a um, YouTube and stuff too. Oh uh, yeah, you can find me on. YouTube. I I post videos sometime. I've been thinking about like uploading a Smash like um, combo video. When, should um, we should we expand Battle Arcade to do stuff like that too? I was thinking about this the other day. I guess that's a conference call conversation for another day. Yeah, that too. Anyway, Never mind. You could find me on Twitter at Snowhalation. I don't know how YouTube works. Let me uh, let me see how really quick. It's no, it's just Snowhalation the channel. No. What? It's a. Uh... Um. So my channel is is not that. It's no relation. This... No, it's this. I'm. The you can put you that in the, in the the uh, the description. That's my Show YouTube notes. channel. Um. Yeah, it's no relation. Yeah, but look at the link. That's that's not a, a pronounceable link. Oh no, um, but when you're in YouTube, like people are using the YouTube search bar, they're gonna search like Snow Halation. Then if you see it No uh, one types a URL nowadays. Anyway, if you see an icon with the girl with glasses and brown hair, that's me. Um I upload Smash videos and Novoi videos and whatever <clears throat> fucking video I feel like making. Yeah, um, you, weird videos. Uh, your, your last video was an Undertale video video. Oh, it's a Smash video. Oh, before that, though. Okay, yeah, that's an Undertale video. Um, anyway, Hunter, we're not going to hunt you. You can... I don't even know what my links are now. Um, Tumblr, at Prosomity. Um, I, I guess Twitter, at Battle Arcade. Uh, uh, is that it? Mm-hmm. Instagram at Prosomity. What an odd Instagram. S O M A T E Y. What do you mean, what an odd Instagram? I don't have Instagram, so. You should get an Instagram. I don't post pictures enough. That's true. Maybe you should uh, get an Instagram. I don't, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm anywhere. Oh, YouTube at uh, Hunter Good and Music. Even though I don't post music really anymore, well, I'd actually, I actually I did actually just release like a seven track um, uh, techno computer like background music, um, like it, it's inspired by video games. Anyways, that's an update I guess for another time. But broken pixel soundtrack, listen to it or be there sad if you Santa. swear. What? S hashtag sad Santa. You listen? Did you listen to all of them? Yeah. I, I think mean, I sent them to you. Didn't I? Yeah, you like, did. Yeah, before you right. Even uploaded them. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think I did that like a month before I uploaded them. Yeah, sad Santa. Anyway, um, um, you can follow the show at Battle Arcade Twitter. You can follow the show on YouTube at Battle Arcade Show. Um, we swear we'll do something. Maybe I don't know. Um, you can. Um, is that it? Yeah. Bye. I think so. No. No? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> my, my last comment. Yeah? Like what you like. If you mm. don't like what somebody else likes, it's okay. They'll be okay. Without your opinion. Where's this That's coming from? That's all I have to say. This sounds just, like it has just, a story behind it. Just be nice about Starter Pokemon. Oh! Don't be mean. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Fennekin sucks. Good night.
Hang on uh, just one second, actually. I might have to edit this out. Okay. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my friend on the internet. Who is it? It's my, it's my friend, uh, my friend Rita. Want to say hi? Hmm. Here, say Hello. It's right, right here. Hello. Whoa. You is just, that China? It's China, yeah. You just blew China's mind. Um, China. Want to say hi? China, say hi. <laughs> I just think she's nervous. Say it to the microphone, though. Say it, like, right here, okay? Because this is how I'm talking to him through. Her eyes are, like, very wide right now. She's, like, you blew her mind by talking. <laughs> She's, like, smiling, like, eyes, like, super wide. Are you okay, China? Yeah, I just want to move your tooth. Your tooth? What happened? What's with your tooth? Is it a wiggly tooth? Mm -hmm. Oh! You're gonna put it under your bed for the tooth fairy? Not loose enough. Not loose enough? Okay. Are you not gonna have... Dad's not gonna help you yank it out? Okay. Yank out your tooth? No. No? What? He did that to my tooth once. Well... He pulled my tooth right out of my bed. <laughs> Keep talking. What, what were you gonna say? Um, one time, uh, my... And my grandma gave me a carrot to wiggle my tooth with. Oh, a carrot? Like, you put yeah, it yeah. Uh, in and back, in and out, in and out. Okay. Basically. You do oh, that's okay. A, that's a good pro strat right there. Pro strat? What, um, <laughs> what my dad did was he would get, you know, dental floss? And it was, like, really small string. And he yep. wrapped it around my tooth. And he just very... Quickly, yeah, and just pulled it right out of my face. And did you cry? A little bit, I think. When you're a little boy. Yeah, when I was a little, when I was a little China boy, yeah. When you're a little a, tiny, when you're just a, like you. When you're a little kitten. A little kitten. That's because when I was my, I was a little kitten. Oh, you were a little kitten when you were born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I need to. Uh, we need to talk some more. Okay. Wait, 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 I need to do something. What, what's up? Oh, I think, actually. Co coming a minute. Your mama's calling you. Ma, uh, just a minute, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, we're gonna use this. <laughs> we're gonna, we're, we are gonna use this? It's the Easter egg at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we gonna say, China? Tell your friend have a little too. I told, he can hear you. I can, I can hear you. My friend can hear you. Well, I have at least two. I yeah. I know. I know. You yeah. should um. You should, you should be, be careful, careful with, with it because it's it's, it's a very, very fragile, fragile thing. thing. Yeah, and you know what to do with it when it comes out. Uh, put it under your pedal and go to sleep for the tooth fairy to take it. Yeah, yes. the tooth fairy is gonna come and take it right underneath from the pillow, and it's gonna leave. You know what the tooth fairy leaves? Money? Yeah. Typically. Usually, yeah. <laughs> All right. Or, you know, whatever they feel like leaving. I guess so, yeah. Well, uh, Hunter, do you know I have a, a new dress from Sam's Club? I know, I can see. I think you showed me the other day. It's very pretty. It has three spots, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we should go now because we're going to talk. Say goodbye to Rita. Can you say goodbye to Rita? Bye. Come here, come here. Bye. Bye-bye, China. Close my door, please. China? China, May? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Lock your door.